meet with George Clooney of the koala world. And he's been used to, well, turn the girls on. If they react positively, they're ready to mate. Not a bad job being introduced to lovelies all day. Just uh, let the girls all know that he's here. But he's not always welcome. Now, she's really quite aggressive there. She just, She'll she's, swipe him yeah, probably. she's letting him know that he doesn't, Come he's on. not welcome here. There you go. All right. <laughs> so we might move on to another enclosure, knowing that we've got no activity in here whatsoever. Dear, dear, that's a bad knockback. Oh, chow. I think you need a thick skin to be a teaser. All right, so we've got Jenna coming to us. She's very excited that there's a boy in her midst. She's on heat. All right, so you can see that very typical hiccuping, ear flicking. She's not holding back. She's almost willing him to yeah. come over. Nice one, mate. She's hot, and you've pulled. Now, this is where things get complicated. Jenna is actually going to be artificially inseminated because the male she had the hots for is not a good genetic match. But Rocky is. His semen is about to be collected using an artificial vagina. He'll think he's mating with a female, so all's well as far as he's concerned. OK, we're going to have a go at collecting some semen from the boy. This is the female that we're going to use as a teaser. And off and running. Beautiful. OK, he's excited. The team are highly skilled in this very delicate manoeuvre. Now, I know what you're thinking, though. Why not just let nature take its course? Well, they want to be sure that Jenna gets pregnant. And they also have some sperm left over to use in experiments. So that's, that's it. it. <laughs> and that's, that's the uh, sample. We'll have a look under the microscope anyway and see how we go. OK. Well done, big fella. Well done. All right, we'll go and get him back to bed. Okay. The semen looks fine, so Steve's planning to go ahead with the operation. We're doing an artificial insemination today, but uh, we're also doing a lot more research looking at techniques for the cryopreservation of the sperm so that we can freeze it uh, thaw it out and then artificially inseminate it. Fresh sperm only has a shelf life of about 72 hours. The long-term aim is to build up a genetically diverse sperm bank, only possible if the specimens can be frozen. It's turning out to be a real problem. We've done quite a bit of work on koalas and wombats. And we can freeze it OK and we can thaw it OK, but we can't keep it alive after we've um, thawed it out. So for now, they can only use fresh. Jenna arrives at the clinic. Now, Steve makes this look simple, but it's taken him a long time to get this good. It probably is around about 10 years before you, you're, so, you're efficient enough that you're doing it reliably. We'd like to use this technique for other species as well, but, you know, some of those species, unfortunately, we don't have 10 years. Time will tell if it's work for Jenna, but even if she's not pregnant, she's done her bit to help the research. One more step along the road to saving her wild cousins from extinction. And I, I just can't imagine Australia without its koala.